It is estimated that 1 in 10 Indian women of reproductive age suffers from PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is a hormonal disorder causing enlarged ovaries with small cysts on the outer edges of the ovary, which in some cases lead to endometrial cancer and infertility. Now before we get to talk about PCOS, if you are suffering from this condition or if you think you know someone suffering from PCOS, the first thing you should know is that there is no well-defined reason for this condition. No one really knows why this happens, which is the most common concern amongst women. So what to do? Simple answer is to educate yourself and the people around you. Hello and welcome to Health Mantra. In this video, we will discuss about PCOS and the measures one can take to fight this condition to stay healthy. For more informational videos, please like and share this video. If you are new to this channel, then subscribe to our channel, Health Mantra. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive timely notification of our new videos. What is PCOS? PCOS is commonly known as Polycystic Ovary Syndrome. It is a condition that affects a woman's hormonal levels. Now what happens in normal circumstances is, the ovary contains thousands of premature eggs and each of these eggs are enclosed in a structure called follicles. Each month, a number of these follicles develop and one of them gives rise to mature eggs, that is, released during ovulation. This whole process is controlled by two hormones, follicular stimulating hormone FSH and luteinizing hormone LH, which are produced in the pituitary gland. But if the woman is suffering from PCOS, the deficiency of FSH results in the restriction of follicular maturation. This ultimately leads to the halfway development of the follicles, which becomes a cyst. Results in restriction of follicular maturation. This means no mature egg will be produced or released during the period of ovulation. What are the early signs of PCOS? Irregular periods. Due to the lack of ovulation, the level of estrogen and progesterone disturbs, which eventually causes irregular periods. More than 70% of women face the issue of abnormal hair growth on their face and body. Oily skin. The increasing level of male hormones makes their skin oilier, which breaks out the acne on areas like face, chest and upper back. Changes in the level of hormones can trigger headaches in some cases. Male pattern baldness. Up to 80% of women with PCOS are either obese or overweight. Dark patches on the skin. Treatment for PCOS starts with lifestyle changes like diet and exercise. Because losing just 5-10% to of body weight can help to regulate your menstrual cycle and improve PCOS related symptoms. Low carbohydrate diet is effective for both weight loss and lowering insulin levels. 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise at least 3 days a week can help you to lose weight. Add vegetables to your diet and avoid sugar as much as you can. Please keep in mind that exercise is even more beneficial when combined with healthy diet. What is the medical treatment for PCOS? Most of the medical treatments are targeted towards controlling or treating symptoms like birth control pills. These can help to regulate the menstrual cycle by restoring the normal hormone balance. Anti-androgens, diabetes medicines, fertility medicines and cancer preventive medicines. If severity of the symptom remains, even after the medication, then surgery is recommended. Ovarian drilling is a surgical procedure that makes tiny holes in the ovary with a laser or thin heated needle to restore normal ovulation. Hope this video has helped you to better understand the condition. If someone in your family or in your friend circle is experiencing such symptoms, then do ask them to visit a doctor for early intervention. Many of these cases of PCOS goes unreported due to lack of awareness. This video is made for your medical awareness only. So before going for any medication, don't forget to consult your doctor. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Health Mantra to know more about various diseases, their causes and preventions. Also, please comment and recommend health topics to us regarding which you want more information. Till then, be aware, be healthy.